This large gramophone is one of only a few surviving testimonies to EBFAM's actual existence. The turntable is activated when a slowly rotating lampshade allows a light bulb to shine through a slot in itself onto a light sensor. EBFAM's alleged half-brother, Thomas Alva Edison, did pioneer mass production and design one of the first phonographs, but this example by EBFAM is far more sophisticated and easily embraces science that Edison was not even aware of. As the light bulb shines on the sensor, two propellers are activated and air is forced against clear sails on the turntable causing it to spin. The needle individually plucks 26 electric circuits, each activating a specific frequency tone. In sequence, these circuits almost mockingly orchestrate Mary Had a Little Lamb, the same song Edison's first phonograph played. It is now known that Edison's notes from his phonograph mentioned how the device could be fashioned in such a way to power a man cutting wood. However, Thomas never did this, but Edvam did, and as a self-portrait, sawing a buckeye log in half, the state tree from the birthplace of this whole story. The helix-like horn of this gramophone is said to reference Thomas and Edvam's father, Samuel Iron Shovel Edison's lifestyle. He hooked up with his 16-year-old housekeeper three weeks after his wife's early death and was a self-proclaimed master of smoking, drinking, and gambling, and it's this lifestyle that supposedly spawned Edvam himself.